The start of Berlin was always supposed to be a cold open. Agent 47, all alone, no handler, no cinematic, no briefing, and no real mission objective. The only thing that takes us here are a few words in the cinematic after the previous mission. What is Agent 47 thinking? How did he even get here? How does he feel after what just happened? We wanted to evoke an eerie and surreal feeling when exploring the first area in this location, before the actual mission starts. Olivia is not answering the phone, and we have big black vans standing up behind a gas station. A dead body. So what's going on here? We looked at the entire start of this mission as an in-game mission briefing. After a bit of exploring, suddenly Olivia calls, and we're getting an explanation of the situation. Olivia wants Agent 47 to leave the area, but he has other plans. For the first time in the trilogy, Agent 47 must decide for himself. He wants to strike back at the ICA and formulates his own mission objective. This is an important step in Agent 47's story arc and his path to freedom, having his own agency. We feel that the entire journey from starting alone on a road, not knowing what's going on, to suddenly finding yourself in the middle of a raging rave in Berlin, hunting down ICA agents, is a great and chaotic contrast to the slow and mysterious Dartmoor location before, and a twist on the gameplay. The gameplay twist is, there are a lot of targets on this map, and you don't know where they reside as they are blending in wearing disguises. And the player will only have to take out five of them. We believe that this makes this mission very dynamic and replayable, while introducing a new approach to the targets. Of course, you will have to explore and find them first. However, on the starting locations that are unlocked as part of the mastery, we decided to have all targets visible from start to make the mission a bit more accessible and let the player dive faster into the sandbox without having to worry about an identification process. The targets are always key characters in a Hitman game, and in this mission we have a whole bunch of them. On top of that, we have no handler and also no mission stories to guide the player. So we had to do something new in order to give the player a chance to learn more about the targets. Enter the radio earpiece. The earpiece gave us a chance to give the otherwise very anonymous targets on this map a voice and to be more personal. We had to avoid making this shatter too frequent and too annoying but still interesting enough and to tell the player what's going on and keep on listening. We also use the radio earpiece to play up the drama when the ICA agents decide to flee. So the earpiece became a tool for us to solve all of these problems that came with having a different approach to this mission and its objective. Of course, the main event on this map is the rave. A sort of chaos that a character like Agent 47 does not really belong in. We treat the rave as a character in the club building that encompasses everything and it can already start to feel outside of the compound. We wanted it to sound and feel authentic, a place where a real raver in Berlin would feel right at home. As always, in Hitman, there is a way to exploit the situation as Agent 47. Did you find the DJ disguise yet? If not, I encourage you to have a look around, there might be some deadly drops waiting to happen in the DJ booth. This is like looking for a needle in a haystack. Just keep trying, Agent Montgomery. Our client considers Agent 47 and Olivia Hall as a serious threat. You can't underestimate them. I never do, Joe. We'll find them. We're all in position. Good. Report back to me if there's anything. Don't worry. Hey, it's Alfred. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm delayed, but uh, someone must have moved my bike, and I can't find my, you know, allergy pills. <laughs> you know, they seem to have just gone. You know, like kaput. Well, yeah, I'm looking. It's it's very annoying, but I'll, I'll meet up with you inside once I find them. Okay. Yeah, I'll see you later. Hello, um, excuse me. I was wondering if you could help me find my bike. Now, now I have lost my allergy pills. 
if you know what I mean. Uh, I can get you in for free if you help me. I know you're busy, but you didn't happen to find my bike with with, with my found. allergy pill. You are a lifesaver. Thank you. Hey, look, if you want to get into the club, no, I can get you in for free. You know, you look like a man who needs to let off a little steam. I accept. Oh, you are a little stiff. You really need to come inside. But I promise you, my allergy pills can remove some of that tension. Come, follow me. Hey, I should be on the list. The name is Helfried Ziegler. And this gentleman is my plus one. Yeah, you can come in. You have to put this sticker on your I phone. just need to do a quick no routine check allowed. if you want to get through. Even when you're on the guest Nothing list. Nothing to worry about. It's simple Long. protocol, sir. Right, that's it. Keep moving, please. Come on, follow me. I can show you around if you want. Oh, this place is fantastic. It's hard to get here, but it's the best party anywhere. Oh, and thanks for your help, by the way. And now, if you want to warm up first, there is a chill-out area where you can laugh. And, oh, don't forget. 